What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. Shout out to the LDBC. <laughs> all right, all right. On Fox, inside the PBC in the fight camp, uh, I believe this is episode three. Oh, man. I didn't see the whole episode. I didn't watch it yet. Uh, I had to download the app. I'm going to watch it. But shout out to the real Marlo, man. I <laughs> I went to his channel and seen the, you know, two, three clips that he uh, he had put on his channel. Man, I'm and I'm going to talk about what I've seen, all right? The shit's funny to me, all right? It's funny. The shit's hilarious. Everything that Kenny Porter and Sean Porter's doing, every time they went to their side, I was laughing. Earl Spence looked like he's having a great time going to football games, meeting people, shaking hands, meeting Hall of Famers, getting recognized for the true star and champion that he is. You know, he's having a great time in camp. He looks great, looks great in camp. I seen his, his pad workout. He was throwing, he was incorporating a lot of them right hooks and he was throwing in a lot of uppercuts. He looks strong, he's precise, and, and I believe he will knock out Sean Porter. But. When you go, when they went to the training camp for Sean Porter, man, Kenny Porter is doing the most. If there was any reason for Kenny Porter to throw in the towel during this fight, one of those reasons now I see clear. One of those reasons is that Sean is not going to be compliant with what he's saying and he's going to take it into his own because he's pissed and throw the towel in. Just to piss off his son. His Kirk the fuck out on his father. Why you throw the towel in? You ain't doing nothing I'm telling you to. You ain't you getting beat, Sean. You're getting beat, Sean. That, and then it's going to be a fallout party. That's what I see. It's going to be a falling out party. Now, granted, he could be getting beat the hell up real bad. Can he feel bad for his son and throw the towel in? I mean, can he... Honestly, after listening to all of this, listening to this, this episode in particular, episode three, Kenny knows that Sean does not have what it takes to beat Earl Spence. Everything that Kenny, everything that Kenny was telling Sean to do that Sean wasn't doing right, Earl Spence naturally does all by himself on his own. Okay, so Sean was in there sparring or whatnot. He was sparring and Kenny... <laughs> Kenny asked Sean, Kenny was like, what did you move for? Sean was like, I think, what I think Sean said was, I got to stay away from him or I, I, or something to the tone as I got to keep moving or whatever. But I think he said, I got to stay away from him. And Kenny said, no, <laughs> no, you supposed to do what I'm telling you to do. <laughs> Be confident in your ability to pair a shot. Listen. I don't give a, a, a fuck <laughs> who coming in in this ring right now. I'm not backing up. I'm not budging until the punch comes. When there's a storm, the only people that survives it are the person that's calm. Not the person that's panicking, flying all over the place, tornadoes, hur hurricanes. Ah! <laughs> that's the first one to die. Those were his, those was his exact words to Sean in front of everybody that was there, yo. And in the meanwhile, you see Barry Hunter over there on the side of the ring looking at him like he needed to intervene. He was looking at them like he was looking at a, a domestic a, a domestic dispute in between two lovers or some shit. Like he was looking at that shit like it was man and female about to fight. The look on his face wasn't nice. All right. Now, I understand that's your, that's your son. You talk to him and you know what motivate him and how to talk to him. Sean called him a mad scientist because that's what it looks like on the outside. Bruh, it looks worse than that on the outside, all right? Because he's not a scientist. He looks like just a straight up madman, bruh. Like you already, everything's always about Kenny, man. Everything's about you. And if what you're saying, what you if you said something to him over and over again, Ain't getting through to him. You need to take a different approach. Evidently, yelling ain't ain't good enough. He's been fighting for th for over eleven years. Something needs to change. And you bringing in extra extra help and coaches as the great well great great um 
coach and trainer Barry Hunter, he just sitting there just to watch clownery, the charade. He just sitting there watching the bullshit. Y'all really not. He's really not helping you. I mean, and you said that um you was going to get Boo Boo Andres to come in and train and help. It's about to be fight week. You shouldn't even be sparring. So did that even happen, or did you just spar a bunch of righties? Did you spar a South Paul a South Paul yet? Did Boo Boo Andres even come in? Like, what's what's going on with the whole sparring and your training shit? Everything just looks, I don't know, theatrical. Maybe I don't even know how to explain it. Everything just looks weird from the outside. Like you're not really doing much. You're saying you're doing a lot to train, but you're doing the same shit you always do when you have every fight. The only thing you're doing now this time is just you're talking a lot and you're, tra and you're uh, sparring a lot of different other people. That's it. Like, you always swim and do high, um, low oxygen train. You always do that. So what's new? Now, they went to the Headbangers Gym and um, Kenny was uh, whoring the shit out of Sean again. In front of everybody, left and right, he was horning the shit out of Sean. He was at somebody else's gym to spar everybody. It was multiple people that had on gear to spar Sean. Okay, so he's talking to him like this in front of everybody once again, even at a different gym, and um, starts. But Sean, Sean started sparring, and Kenny was like, <laughs> Kenny was like, "Watch, I, I asked him to counter that boy's jab, and he ain't gonna do it." Look, look, he's he's going to try to do his own offense instead of what I told what I asked him to do. And, and now look, look, look. Now he's following the guy. At least Kenny knows that all those things that he's doing in the ring at that time will get him killed in the ring with Sean with um with Sean with uh Earl Spence. Sean Porter will get killed doing all that dumb shit. And Kenny son said, but I don't think it's working. I mean, this is episode three. I don't know when it was recorded, but you got less than two weeks to fight. It's not working. What you're doing ain't working. Kenny told Sean, Kenny got in the ring in, the, in between rounds and told Sean, when I say be a counter puncher, damn it, be a counter puncher. Kenny, it is not that easy. All right. Maybe things has been that easy so far, but it's not that easy. Not against um, Earl Spence. Sean Porter cannot just be a counterpuncher because you said it. He can't just be no counterpuncher just because you told him to be a counterpuncher. All right, like I don't like it's just it's straight up will that Sean Porter must be running off of because I'm not seeing anything else. It's to beat to beat Sean, to beat Earl Spence. I'm not seeing anything else. I'm not seeing big help coming from his corner and his trainer being Kenny Porter either. I'm not seeing it. And besides all that, Sean can't, can't stop throwing that right hand and backing straight out. That's another thing that Kenny was yelling at him about. You know what I'm saying? Stop stop shooting that right hand and then pulling straight out. That's what, that's what the hell he means by that. He's not moving to the right or to the left. He's, he's moving straight back. That's going to get him killed with Earl Spence. And uh, Kenny asked Sean, do you understand? Sean said, yes, sir. And Kenny went the fuck off, okay? <laughs> Kenny went off when Sean said he, he he understood. He straight up went off. He said, no, you don't understand because I already gave you the information yesterday, last week, two months ago. This is the part where I tear into your ass. Again, he's still that headbangers, headbangers gym in the ring in between rounds of sparring, okay? You don't understand. You don't understand that yes sir shit don't work for me. And meanwhile, let me let me tell you, beep, beep, <laughs> they was censuring the hell out of what Kenny Kenny was saying. So I'm only saying what I heard, all right, but there was a lot of beeping going on. So you must have been calling him all types of fucks and bitches and all types of shit. We could he probably could call Sean a bitch a few times during that. <laughs> and I'm just saying there was a lot of beeps going on during that conversation. But he said um, that uh, yes, so that that yes sir shit don't work for me. And he says no, you do. Kenny was like, <laughs> you listening to that little ass man in your head telling you to do what you want to do instead of doing what I tell you to do. Bro, I swear all of this shit's funny as hell to me, man. And it just shows my point even more that they're gonna have a falling out party. They're gonna have a falling out, yo. 
just like contender regime said, uh, I believe famous AAA said it, the Mar the real Marlo said it. All of us agree. Y'all are gonna argue in that corner. I've been saying he was going. Kenny gonna be over there talking to Sean like he's twelve years old, and I'm correct because he's already talking to his ass like he's twelve years old in front of everybody. You, he knew this was episode three. He had to talk to Sean like that, and he does. He did it because that's how he talks to him all the time, and it's gonna be amplified during fight night. Please have the mics ready, clear, and turned all the way up in Kenny. I want the mics in his corner. I want them there. After this is all over, yo, after this is all over, I want somebody to sit down and ask Barry Hunter, what do you think about Kenny Porter's approach of training Sean Porter? I want to hear it. I want to hear his true feelings about how he feels about that shit. And I know it's supposed to be tough. You know what I'm saying? I don't see no problem with that, but... The fact that he's been fighting for all of this time and you seen that you you have to talk to him still like that in front of everybody in the ring at other people's gym, something isn't working. That's all I'm saying. Something ain't clicking. Sean Porter's definitely getting dropped in this fight. It's 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 for sure. And now seeing how they how they really feel. And watching, watching how Kenny is reacting to how Sean is sparring and what he's doing. And Sean Porter just hitting with the yes, sir. And he's not listening. He ain't listening. Just hitting with the yes, sir, I understand. Just to fucking let the day go by or whatever. Get Just, just to get through the day or get through the session of sparring is going to have that motherfucker hung up to dry on the 28th. He's getting knocked out. I for sure think that he's getting stopped in this fight. I got Spence stopping Sean Porter 10 rounds or less. Shout out to everybody who gave to the channel. Uh, Toot Cruz, James Coleman. And if anybody would like to donate to the channel, a link to my cash app will be into the description below. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.